Here I'm going to show you what mixing the ionized water and sodium hydroxide will do and how quickly the temperature will rise. I'm going to initially add some deionized water, 100 milliliters. All right, there's 100 milliliters of deionized water, or roughly close to it. As you can see, the temperature is at about 69.6. All right, at this point, it's staying relatively steady. Now I'm going to add 100 milliliters of the sodium hydroxide. As you can see, the temperature is quickly climbing and it turns a cloudy white. Most people think that it's the acidity that's painful to you, but this is a very strong base that will hurt you just as well. That's why I wear the protective neoprene gloves while handling the material.